Hey guys, this is Nate with ACA. I've just finished recording downstairs the cigar review I've done for the Monte Cristo uh, Series 1935 uh, Maltese. Uh, I've come back up home, I'm smoking that downstairs, uh, and I figure I should uh, do a little cigar uh, humidor tour of what I've got at home. Um, actually, it's gonna be a bit light today. I've actually taken out about five or six boxes. I don't know what, I don't want the guys to see everything that's in there because a few of the things um, I want to do blind tastings on in the future so we'll probably get to those in future videos anyway um, but as you can see here I've actually got um, a humidor that's about the size of a refrigerator so this is more of a commercial one I'll probably talk uh, there's an interesting story about how I got this I'll probably do that in another video um, this one is uh, humidity and temperature controlled uh, it, it, did, it did originally come with a humidification system um, in the bottom, um, but because it's so humid in Hong Kong, I've actually taken that out to give me some extra room to store some additional cigars. Um, and I put in some just bowls of water in there just to keep the humid, uh, humidity levels at, at an optimal range, and that seems to be working pretty well. Um, so I'm going to give you a tour of what I've got uh, here. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see. Okay guys, I think right before uh, I set this up to kind of show you the individual boxes, I uh, just wanted to give you a, a more full length picture of the actual humidor. So you can see um, I'm keeping the temperature between you know, around, around 17 degrees Celsius. Um, the humidity level there is reading about 62%. Reason for that is that I've just opened it, so some of the air has kind of gone in and out. Um, that will adjust, but it's not of a problem. Got about five, six shelves, apparently. Um, those are cedar shelves, and in the bottom where you can kind of see a couple boxes there, um, that usually is where the humidification system goes, but um, I'm using that for some extra storage space. Um, so yeah, let me open this up and show you what I got. All right, I've tr what, I've what I've tried to do here is I've tried to organize my cigars at a brand level per shelf. Given the size of the boxes though, that hasn't quite worked out the way I'd hoped it would, but you know what, I only have so much space, so I've made do. My top shelf here, I've mainly uh, Trinidad's, but also some uh, Cahibas. I've also got two of these boxes of, um, what are these, uh, Selection Pyramides. There's uh, six cigars, I think, in each one of these, and selection uh, Robustos, okay? So what did we have in here? I think there's a Cahiba, Monte Cristo, Romeo, and Julieta, Hoyo, uh, and Partigas, and Partigas. So that's what's in there. These ones are 2016 boxes. I love Trinidad's. So actually, I've got uh, I've got a bunch of these. I've got uh, boxes of these uh, Trinidad Robusto teas. Boxes of twelve. I've got three of these. I've got boxes of these uh, Robusto extras. These are amazing, amazing cigars. Leather and tea. I'm actually afraid to smoke these because they're just uh, they're just that good. Um, these ones are November two thousand and ten and November two thousand and eleven. Both of these ones are discontinued, so another reason I'm not really smoking them too much. Can't really get them anymore. Got a box of these, which I've actually not smoked any yet. These are the uh, Trinidad Robusto Tea uh, Edition Limitada from 2010. Why am I looking at the box code? That's obviously indicating on the lid. So we've got the little uh, description about the cigar and a little bit of the background on the brand. These ones, as you can see, are very dark. I can't decide if I'm gonna smoke these or sell them later or whatnot, but uh, they've got the nice little pigtails on them. Got a box of these Monte Cristo uh, Dantes from 2016. 
very nice lacquered wooden box here. I've smoked one of these. Um, they're only about a year and a half, two years old. These ones are amazing cigars, actually. These, these, these more than any, almost any cigar, uh, I would say, have a enormous, really deep, rich kind of chocolate taste to them. I can't wait to smoke another one. I really want to do a review on these with the guys, so hopefully that's coming soon. So, yeah, very nice dark wrapper, as most of the Ellie's do have. So, oh, they just smell amazing. do I have here? I've got the uh, Cahiba Edition Limitada 2014. These are the Robusto Supremos. Uh, Johnny and I smoked one of these maybe three, four months back. Uh, unfortunately, those are actually uh, pretty terrible cigars. We both agreed. Um, the problem with those, I think, is where I, I was given those as gifts, and I think that they had not been kept, uh, kept well. And that was the reason uh, they were bad. I mean, all the other reviews uh, that we saw, you know, they were saying, you know, how good these cigars were, you know, so I did go ahead to buy a box of them. Again, super dark wrappers on these, very nice cigars. Um, we'll try and do a review on those, I think at some point in the future, but you know, there's no harm in letting them uh, rest longer and uh, see what happens there. Got a box of these uh, Trinidad, what do you call them? Topes. This is the Edition Limitada from 2016. Also have not smoked any of these. Um, very excited to have heard extremely good things. I've had this box, well, probably for about a year now as well. Just bought the Robusto Supremos, uh, probably about six, six, 12 months ago as well. Super dark wrapper. Oh, those also smell amazing. Can't wait. And I've got three or four boxes of these uh, Trinidad, these new uh, LCDH Trinidad's, the La Trova, up here. These cigars are massive. I've also not smoked these. Um, Kind of waiting for the right time, waiting for them to rest a bit. Massive cigars. Well, they'll still smell slightly young, to be honest, but um, I've heard that people who have smoked them have only had good things to say. So I'm sure they will only get better with time. So that's shelf number one. Shelf number two, got a lot of these um, Maduro 5 series of the Cahibas. We've got three boxes of these uh, Secretos. Got two boxes from 2017. And one box, one older box. Yeah, this box is from 2007. Um, I've already gone through one of these. Uh, these do get significantly better with age, I've found. Um, they do lose a bit of the sweetness that you get from the, the newer uh, uh, the newer ones, but they, I mean, I think what you get in terms of, you know, the mellowing out, you know, that, that smoothness you get with aged cigars, I think definitely uh, compensates for that. But again, it really depends on what you're looking for. Got a couple of little of these boxes of the uh, Cahiba, Club 20s, I'm not really sure why I bought these. I figured I might at some point in time, you know, wanna bring them with me when I don't have time to smoke a full a full cigar, but actually I've just been either too lazy or haven't remembered to try and actually do that, so they've just been sitting there. Got a number of boxes of these uh, Cahiba Talismans, so these ones that just came out maybe three, four months ago, the 2017 edition Limitada. 
Um, excited to try these. Another cigar that we really want to do a review on, I think, in the near future. These ones also very dark wrappers. I've got about five boxes of these. Um, got the nice little pigtails up top. I think some of the uh, most uh, super special boxes I have here are actually the some more talisman are the uh, Cahiba 1966. So this is a uh, got two box, two full boxes of these. One of them actually uh, the seal's not even been cut here. Um, these have increased in value a ton actually since uh, since I bought them and I bought them at Hong Kong prices. I wish I'd bought them at European prices and they would be worth even more now. But I've gone through an entire box of these. I think when they first came out. And now, again, I'm almost too afraid to smoke them because either I can't afford to buy any more or uh, I won't, just won't be able to get hold of them. So I'm kind of glad I'm doing this uh, humidor tour. Actually, I haven't opened a lot of these boxes in a while, but as you can see on these, well, again, Edition Lamentata cigars, you know, the wrappers are always so dark. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Very nice boxes on these as well. Got a couple of these three packs. Um, got a three pack of these uh, new Cohiba, the Medio Siglos. I haven't tried these yet, but this is perfect because there's uh, three of them and uh, Johnny, Galen and I can do a review on these. Uh, similarly, I've got a three pack of the Kihiba Robustos. Love these cigar. Super easy to smoke. If you don't know what you want to smoke uh, and you know you have a good hour, maybe even an hour and a half, you know, probably the easiest thing to pick up and go. Uh, another box of uh, the Maduro 5 Kihibas. This is a 2017 of the, what is this? The Magico, so this is the mid-range one, I think. The Genios is the largest format. Had a few of these, uh, pretty good. Could still use some age. This is a box of Cahiba Pyramides Extra. Um, these ones are in the tubes. So um, tubes are quite handy, actually, when you're out and about traveling, if you wanna throw a cigar in there and protect it. It's definitely handy to have around. Um, this is a very special box. Uh, this is also a Cahiba uh, Maduro 5 series. This is a uh, 50th anniversary box. So that's why it's in a special format there. It's slightly sticking. It's got a really nice Cahiba emblem on top of this felt lining. Let me open that up. Yeah, this is very similar to the uh, to the Grand Reserves, except it's got this kind of funny plastic wrapper, which I don't really like. Might go ahead and try to take that off when I have a bit more time. Hopefully that doesn't leave any residue. I'll have this thing open here. There we go. So this is a really nice Cahiba emblem up here. They made 2,000 of these boxes, so this is number 325. Got a special, that one got turned around. Got a special band at the foot, as you can see. Very nice wrappers. A little card telling you a little bit about the release. So that's the end of drawer number two. 
All right, let's get into drawer number three. Got a box of uh, these cigars that I just smoked. So actually the cigar I smoked wasn't from this box. This is the Monte Cristo Linea 1935 Maltese. So I'm not gonna open this box, but uh, well, okay, maybe I will. Also comes in a very nice felt felt wrapper here with the Monte Cristo emblem. Um, as you can see, this is a very nice box. It's not a lacquer. I'm not really sure what that is on top. I don't think that's considered a lacquer. But that's what it looks like. Has this been opened even? Yeah, this one's been opened. I haven't smoked, well, I just smoked the one that I had, but. So that's what these look like. There's 20 of these per box. I don't know. Might try to sell this one and uh, buy some Leandas though. We'll see. <laughs> Got a very nice clip there at the front. This one is December 2017. What else do I have in here? Got a box of these uh, Bolivar Petit Coronas. Very nice cigar. This one is from March 2013. Very nice full flavored smoke. Uh, Probably about if you've got an hour. Um, love these cigars, actually. It's lucky to find these. Usually uh, you can't find aged cigars in uh, stores in Hong Kong. And actually, this was a pretty good price. This one, yeah. Just bought that maybe a year ago. Bought a box of these uh, El Rey de Mundo Croyac Supreme. Did a review on these on uh, top of the mountain up here on back of the island that I live about a month ago, very good scars. A box of uh, H Upman Half Coronas. Um, I think for short format cigars, these are these are super super good. Uh, can't go wrong with these. Got a box of Monte Cristo Edmundos. So this is an older box. This is ten years old. Really nice stick, very smooth, uh, very muted, uh, woody kind of uh, taste to it. And uh, these are two very special boxes uh, that I have as well. This is the, well, it's not a very attractive picture on the front here with the warning labels in Hong Kong, but this is the Monte Cristo number no. two Grand Reserva, Kosheka 2005. So that's where the tobacco age is from. You guys have a super nice velvet bag that the box comes in. This one also has that, oh, that kind of funny plastic wrapper around it. That's what that one looks like. Hoping I'm getting this all in camera here. They made 5,000, well, for all the Grand Reserves, they make 5,000 boxes. This is 2,158. Got the little tags. And there, ow, figured that was gonna happen sooner or later. There's the cigars. The color on these is amazing. It's just so consistent, actually. There's no veins, really, no discolorations at all. Quality looks amazing there. Okay, and this is the box of the uh, Grand Reserves, the uh, Potagus Lusitanias, 15 of those. So nice velvet wrapper. You've got the Grand Reserve label there. This is uh, Kosheka 2007. This one, they haven't put the, finally, they haven't put the plastic around that. So I guess that's the uh, packaging that they're gonna go for going forward. As you can see, that's got a very, very nice box. Very nice black lacquer. 
This is box 3,294 out of 5,000. And there are those beauties. As you can see, a lot of these boxes actually haven't smoked any of them, so someday, 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 either I'll get around to smoking them or selling them, can't decide which. Okay, let's get into oh, shelf number four. <clears throat> Got some of these uh, Fonseca's, Fonseca number one, light cigar, very good. Would recommend these as well. These are from 2016. Can't remember if I've done a review on these or not. If I haven't, definitely will do. Each one of these comes in a nice little uh, individually packaged, almost like a tissue kind of a uh, tissue kind of paper here. Some kind of paper, very thin. This one is just a travel humidor. I'm not really sure why I keep that in there. I don't think there's actually any cigars in it. Got a box of these Upman number twos. This is a box from 2017, but I've got two different, uh, this is a mix of two boxes from 2017. One of which is amazing, and the other one is just kind of so-so. So I'm kind of disappointed that I have the so-so ones and not more of the amazing ones, but still, it's about half-half. This is a box of the uh, Cahiba Bahiki 56s from uh, 2015. Uh, let's see if I can get this one open. I forgot, I haven't had a Bahiki in so long. These ones also come in a nice felt bag. Cahiba Bahiki emblem on the top. I wish I still had some of the Bihiki 52s, but I smoked them all. And it is extremely difficult to get the hold of these, as most of you probably know. So, there's a box of the Bihiki 56s. Probably smoke one of these pretty soon, actually. My birthday is coming up next weekend, so I might whip one of these out then and give it a go. What else do I have in here? Ooh, got a couple boxes of Padrones in here. One of these is the uh, Padrone 19 Series 1926. This is the Maduro wrapper. It's a very nice non-Cuban cigar. I definitely still prefer the Cubans, even though as far as non-Cubans go, these are right up there at the top. I'm not gonna open that one. You guys have probably seen all those. This is a very special box. Um, so Padron, uh, for I think JJ Fox is it's a English uh, cigar merchant in uh, based in London. Uh, they had their two hundred and twenty fifth anniversary in two thousand and twelve, and to commemorate that, they did a they did a special Padron did a special release for them with uh, the Fox uh, branded on the box. They only made two hundred and twenty five of these. So this is cabinet 1889. So what they did is from, I think from the founding year up until 2012, they uh, numbered the boxes in that order. So that's why it, it says 1889, uh, rather than you know something out of 225. Uh, it's a Maduro wrapper. They only made 225 of these though. And there are 10 cigars per box. So right, so J.J. Fox, I think, was founded in 1787. So that would have been the first box, box number one. I actually have had the opportunity to smoke a couple of these because they were selling singles and they are phenomenal, phenomenal cigars. So one day, Drawer number five. So drawer number five is definitely my partigas drawer. I've got a box of these D5s. Definitely a powerhouse. I think would say probably the strongest. To me, I think the strongest partigas. 
got a box of the uh, Partagas, uh, Super Partagas. These cigars have got a super, super dark wrapper. As you can see here, really, really nice cigar. I bought through half of this box. Really enjoy these. I've got a box of the uh, Partagas Series D number four. This box is from uh, 2011. Also very good cigar, a little less strong than the D5. Uh, oh, this is a special box. This is the, uh, I don't know if this is the original D5. So this is a Edition Limitada from 2008. Uh, Partagas Series D number five. I've smoked most of this box. I haven't actually smoked one of these in quite a while now. Let me open this one up so you can get a look at the uh, the cigars inside there. Very dark wrapper. Well, oh, they still sell. They still smell fresh. Ten years on. Uh. Ah, and another very special box. This is the. Uh, Edition Limitada from 2004, Partagas, uh, Partagas D number one. I bought this one about a year ago. Um, I have actually not smoked any. So you can see the cigars here. This is a very big cigar, actually. This is bigger, I think that's longer than the 1966. I forgot the actual format, but um, saw a re video review on these not too long ago from someone recently that said they were smoking phenomenally. So very tempting there. Let's Got some more Upman Half Coronas. Got a box of the uh, Partagas uh, 898s. This box is from 2012. I smoked a couple of these, but to be honest, I wasn't really that impressed. Maybe I'll smoke one again and see how it is in a while, but no rush on that. And I got a box of the Partagas Series P uh, number two. This one is uh, from 2012. Uh, this is the Partagas uh, Pyramides, which is uh, a torpedo shape, as you can see. These are quite nice. I don't smoke these too often, but uh, nice to have in the uh, rotation long term, I suppose. All right, and on to shelf number one, two, three, four, five, six. So on this one, I've got a bunch of these uh, Gurkhas, uh, 125th anniversary Rothschild. So six inches by 54 ring gauge. As you Gurkhas are probably value for money, I would say the best, one of the best cigars on the market. Um, in the US, they're quite cheap. And if you get the, uh, especially the uh, pre-aged ones, I think they come out in, 15, 17, or 15, 18, and 21 years are very good. Tons of smoke, really good flavor, very smooth cigars. Um, this is a Upman, H. Upman Magnum 48 release, uh, Edition Limitada from 2009. Um, this, I would say this is my first favorite cigar. So I smoked, started smoking about five years ago, um, and these were actually still around in shops back then. Um, not a large cigar, but oh, so, so, so good. I did finish a full box of them, but I managed to find this one maybe about a year ago. So I smoked a couple of these, so you can see them there. Nice little Putman branded cedar insert I've 
also got a box of these Bolivar uh, Bellicoso Finos. So I bought this box pretty recently and I was uh, amazed. Uh, this is a torpedo. I was amazed by how dark, I don't know if your guys are gonna be able to see in the video, but how dark these wrappers are. Um, I've seen some boxes with lighter wrappers and, and these ones really just blow me away. I had one of these a few days ago and they are amazing. They really are. And I've also got a box of H. Upman Magnum 50s. Um, I smoked one of these the other day and this box is from 2017. Wasn't so impressed with these, so I'm probably gonna let these sleep for a long time. Before I try another one. And that brings me to my very bottom shelf. I've only got three boxes down there. Um, these three are non-Cuban cigars. Uh, this one is the Alec Bradley uh, Maduro Tempest. Um, the reason I bought this box actually is because I was, uh, I acquired uh, this other box. It's uh, Alec Bradley Tempest, it says. It says Genesis there. Uh, and I was actually trying to find another one of these and I wasn't quite sure online how to kind of go about searching for them. I think this box is about 10 years old and these, uh, these are these are amazing cigars, but uh, I'm a little afraid to smoke these as well because I don't think I can find these anymore. Because um, I've been looking for, I know how big they are, but I don't know, um, I don't really know how to find them on the internet, and I have tried. So if anyone has an idea of where I can get some more, obviously age plays a factor as well. Um, because when I compare these ones uh, to these ones, uh, these ones. Uh, seem lighter in flavor and a little less, uh, yeah, they're definitely less rich, which I was a little disappointed in. This is a special box, well, it's a sort of special. This is a, what is this? This is a Don Carlos uh, anniversary edition, uh, Fuente aged selection. I haven't smoked any of these yet. There's 10 in here, it's a edition well, it's a limited edition from 2014. And they come in these little individually wrapped um, plastic kind of uh, and cedar containers, bands, Fuente aged selection. So I'll get around to smoking one of these. Maybe I'll try to do a review on one. Okay, guys, I uh, actually I have another uh, desktop humidor here which I keep in my big humidor, humidor inside of a humidor. Now that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, there you go, it's Hong Kong, it's hot, I need to control the temperature. Uh, got a lot of sticks in here, I hope you can see that in the video. Um, I got a bunch of these uh, poor uh, Laranaga, these uh, petite Coronas, we did a review on these the other day. Got a random stick of the 1935 Monte Cristo Dumas. Um, got a bunch of these uh, Bolivar Royal Coronas. These are super good cigar actually. These are afternoon smoke, cup of coffee. Got some uh, vintage St. Louis Ray. This is actually one of my favorite brands. Um, as well, although they don't make a large range of cigars. Uh, these are vintage, uh, these are vintage ones. These are at least 10 years old. They came from 50 cabs, which they've discontinued. I don't have too many of these left. What else have I got in here? Got some of these uh, Hoyo Pyramides from 2011. I used to think these were quite good, but um, the last one that I smoked, I wasn't really too impressed with, so that's slightly disappointing. I have some of these uh, Partagas Maduro number ones. We did a review on these the other day. These are actually really good. I've only got two of these, so I think I might try to get some more at some point, but no rush. Uh, also got some of these big boys, the uh, Partagas Lusitanias. 
super good cigar. I think I've said in previous videos, these are the uh, much more elegant uh, Partagas, less strong, I would say, in flavor than the uh, Partagas D and 5, but they still have that similar flavor profile there. A couple more Partagas Series P uh, number 2s. I think these ones are 2017 which is why they're not in that other box that I have from 2012. I've got some of these H. Upman Royal Robustos. So I bought this box probably f when I first started smoking cigars about five years ago. Got a few of these left, very nice. Got a uh, Partagas Series D Especial. This is a edition limitada from 2010. This is a last man standing. I bought a box of 10, I've smoked nine, and this is the remainder. And one of the best cigars that I've ever had is the H. Upman Sir Winston. This cigar, this box of cigars is from 2009. I've got four of these left, so I am gonna gonna hold on to those and uh, savor them when I get a chance. So yeah, that brings a uh, close to my humidor tour, or at least kind of what I can uh, what I can show because I want to keep things some things a secret, as I said at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Uh, I do have a number of cigars in a humidor or in a lounge in um, in the central business district here in Hong Kong, uh, but that will have to be for another time. So yeah, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you in the next cigar reviews. Cheers.